Hi. A basic image composite in cinema is relatively easy and can be achieved relatively quickly, but there are a few things to keep in mind. Firstly, your image size and your render settings need to match. So my render settings are 1920 by 1080. My image size is 1920 by 1080. You're going to need to create a texture that will be your background image. Generally, you're going to load that into the color channel, use an image as your texture, turn off specular, and in my case, I've created a little reflection so I could see that on the floor. Create a background object and then apply the material to the background. Then you'll want to line up your ground plane to match the horizon and relative angles of the ground plane in your image. Then you'll want to uh, put in a plane and adjust the plane so that uh, your objects sit on it. I've got a vase already here and a, and a sphere that I've created. And I put in a couple of lights as well to kind of simulate the lighting. How accurately you arrange the ground plane and how convincingly you make the lighting is what's going to make all the difference in this composition. For this demo, I'm doing it really, really rough just to show the basic steps. So now we have something like this. What you'll want to do next is apply your texture to your plane. Then you're going to want to make the projection into frontal mode so that the background image and the plane image are lining up. As you can see, there's a seam between the plane and the background, and that's because you'll need a compositing tag on the plane. So go to the plane, go to Cinema 4D Tags, Compositing, and then make sure the Compositing Background tab is checked so that your plane and your background image become completely seamless. Okay, that's basically it. Uh, obviously, to make it nicer, you'd want to work on the details, on the lighting, on the placement. But this is the basic concept on how to take a 3D object and put it on a 2D photograph and make it look like it's living in that environment. Thanks for watching.